All right, what's going on with you guys? My name is Chris, and in this video, I'm going to share with you a couple of cool things that relate to currency trading, holding positions in multiple currencies over a long period of time. And this topic pretty much in my mind is called institutional currency trading or currency spread trading or currency swing trading. I guess different interchangeable type of terms that you can use. All right. Um, I decided to share this with you guys because I wrote a little calculator program that helps me to calculate exactly how much interest I'm paying and how much interest I'm earning in a trading account when I have balances in multiple different currencies, short currencies and long currencies at the same time. So if you have that, this video can help you uh, understand how to calculate it. So let's get on with it right now. If you enjoy my content, check out other videos. It's all about software tutorials here. I do trading related content. My name is Chris and I'm interested in software development too. And I'm going to show you a program I wrote here. And the point of this program is to input various positions, sizes in your account, as well as their interest rate or their rate of return. And uh, it's going to aim to calculate the blended rate of return of your portfolio. Okay. Now, of course, I want to just be 100% clear with you guys. None of this video is investment advice. I'm not advising you guys to take any positions. I'm not telling you to trade any specific products. In fact, I would even say that this type of strategy relates more to the idea of like stacking cash and having a longer term portfolio. And that strategy may not be for everybody. In fact, I honestly believe that it's kind of a low risk strategy and you probably won't even be really growing as a risk taker if you're doing this type of strategy. However, if you work in a certain field or potentially have a longer term portfolio, or if you own a company and you have balances in multiple currencies, let's say you operate in US dollars, Canadian dollars, euros, whatever it is, it's important to understand, especially if you're going short on some currencies and long on other currencies, you want to understand exactly the kind of rate of returns you're earning here. And that's the point of this tool that I built to help you do that. All right. So I'm using my interactive brokers account here to show you this. So you can see here in this account, I have uh, these are the balances right here. There's a treasury bill position as well as a US dollar cash position as well as Canadian dollar short position. OK, yeah. So smash the like, smash the subscribe. Let's get on with it right now. I'm going to open the program. This is the program. I built it in three days using FLTK and C++, which is an awesome library. And what I'm going to do what this program basically does is it allows you to input various um, position sizes and uh, their appropriate interest rates, and it will tell you how much you're earning. Uh, when it calculates them all together it just kind of adds them all together basically in simple terms so currency one and currency two the way i think about this is as if it's like a currency pair so in this case you see i'm flat on usd cash and i'm short on the cad so basically the way i would input this is exactly like this currency one position size would be 3.65 that's how much cash i actually have and the interest rate that I'm earning on that cash right now is actually zero. If it was more, I'll tell you one thing is that if you have um, more than $10,000 USD in your account, Interactive Brokers will pay you interest on idle cash balances. If you want to see how much that is, go on the internet and type in IBKR interest rates or use the link down below to go to Interactive Brokers website. I really appreciate it. It's a tracking link and helps me out. Then go to pricing and then interest rates. And then here it'll basically tell you how much they pay on idle positive cash balances in your account. And keep in mind, this is actual cash. It's not cash that's generated from short positions. That's something else. In order to see that one, you have to go to short sale cost. OK, and then at the same time, bring up the other page, which is margin rates, which is how much you pay on negative currency balances. Basically, as soon as you have even one dollar of negative cash and you hold it overnight, you're paying an interest rate on that. Uh, whereas to get paid interest, you have to have a minimum of $10,000 USD um, or equivalents to start earning a proportional interest rate. And basically, you need 100000 or more in the cash to actually earn this full rate. And I did do a video on that. You can check out that video talking about how they pay interest on idle cash. So let's put in these values to the calculator and uh, we'll talk about it. So I have $3.65 in USD cash for currency two, I have minus 10,291 and the interest rate for Canadian dollars. If you go over to their margin rates page, you'll see that it is 6.474%. So I can actually um, input that. OK, at the same time, I actually have a T-bill position in my account of 13,000 USD and I'm earning approximately a little bit more than 5% on that position based on the price that I paid for it and where it's currently trading. And then the final input here, we're going to ignore currency three because this is something that's a bonus 
and I'm going to explain to you more about that in the next section. Uh, the projected FX rate between currency one and two, if you leave it at one, this is what's going to happen. So I'll click on calculate and now we get the next window appearing. So we have each position getting broken down so we can see that our position size of $3.65 USD is not earning us anything. In fact, it's just sitting there doing nothing. Um, the position size of negative 10,000 Canadian dollars with the interest rate of 6.474%. Our one year PL, after one year, we're paying approximately 666 in interest, the number of the beast. And then for the fixed income position, um, there's actually a, a commission fee that's included in the calculation that's in the code. And this position over a one year period, and I know that these bonds don't expire in one year but it's just hypothetically if you had a bond that expired in one year you would earn approximately that much uh, so at the end of all of it you can see there's our total capital our total amount in negative currencies our blended interest rate which is accounting for all the interest rates combined and then our one-year p l and our cost to cover the um the negative balance and i'll talk about that here in a second so you can see our p l is basically just slightly down and the fixed income position is hedging against our uh, negative Canadian dollar position. Okay, so now this is where two things will come in, into play here. The first one is the projected FX rate. So you might be short on one of the currencies. And what this projected FX rate here is basically the exchange rate between currency one and currency two. So if currency one is USD and currency two is CAD, uh, then you're going to want to get the exchange rate or projected exchange rate for USD CAD. And if I look at that current exchange rate right now, it's close to 1.35. So it's 1.346. So I'll come over here into this field and I'll write 1.346. And now I will calculate it. And now take a look at the cost to cover with the effects rate. You can see that earlier it was higher. It was 10,000 something. But now taking into account the exchange rate, our cost to cover that Canadian balance costs us 7,645 in currency one. So what you can do with this is you can say, let's say in your mind, you're purposefully going short on one of the currencies. And obviously you want the currency exchange rate to work in your favor. So let's say you're short on Canadian dollars and the exchange rate goes in your favor. Let's say it goes to 1.37. What's essentially happening is it's, it's becoming cheaper to pay back your negative balance. And that's essentially, that's what you want. So if it went to 1.37, then it would only cost us 7,500 to pay back our, our debt of 10,000. And if it went to 1.4, then it would cost us even less. Now you can see it's not a big difference from the previous value, but for institutions that are carrying large balances or potentially large short positions, like $100,000 or more, or a million dollars or more, you know, it's gonna make a difference when that exchange rate moves around. So, you know, that's why this can be uh, potentially helpful for traders that hold balances in multiple different currencies. And they also want to know how the um, exchange rate between the currencies is going to impact how much their debt costs. So if the exchange rate moves against you down to 1.25, now this $10,000 is going to cost more in USD to cover. So I'll calculate it. Now it's going to cost us 8,200. So you'd result in a, in a bit more of a loss there. So your cost to cover is an important uh, variable there. Okay, let's talk about currency three. I like the idea of having currency three here, and I'll tell you why. Basically, what currency three is, is so you can see here, you look at my trading account, and you can see there's minus $10,000. And you might be asking, where is that $10,000? Where did it go? It just disappeared into thin air. What did you do with it? Did you gamble it on crypto? Did you buy strippers? What did you do? Where did you put it, bro? The point is behind this is that if you're an institution and your goal is to make money or you're on some kind of a mission, obviously your goal is to um, be successful in your mission, you're going to use that capital to earn a return. So you're taking a short position in one of the currencies and with the proceeds of your short position, you're investing it somewhere else. And that's why currency three comes into play here. So let's say you're long 10,000. What do you do with the 10,000? Let's say you do something with it. Let's say you actually ended up in a fixed income position with it, and it's actually able to earn you 10% per year. Obviously, it's hypothetical. These are hypothetical numbers. Now, what we can do is we can calculate this. And again, I'll just put the exchange rate back to where it is currently, which is 1.34, just so we get a better idea. And now, actually, what we've seen is our blended interest rate has gone up from being flat to being positive. So now, because we're actually taking this 10 grand short and we're putting it to work somewhere else and it's earning us 10%, we actually have a positive return on our money. So the whole principle behind currency number three is that you're using the proceeds of your short position to work, uh, to fund your business and to potentially invest elsewhere. And 
at the end of the year, this is earning you a percentage return, but really it's not necessarily a passive income return like the, the fixed income positions or the currency positions would be earning you or costing you. But this relates more to your active income. So currency three, in my mind, using the proceeds of one of the short positions, is currency that you're using to generate active income as well as pay your everyday business costs and potentially also invest into other fixed income assets elsewhere maybe other digital currencies you understand what i'm talking about so that's it pretty much guys that's all i want to show you is this little currency calculator here and put some ideas in your mind about how institutions work with multiple uh, currency balances having a balance between long and short positions of different currencies okay i'll show you some of the features of this basic calculator um, you know, you can clear all the values. I can load them back in of what I had previously saved. I didn't save them, but let's say I clear it, then I save it, then nothing's going to load. But if I, you know, put in some values here, uh, let's say a thousand dollars, let's say $10,000 at uh, 5%. And then over here I have a negative $5,000 and I'm paying 6.5% on that and I save it. I'll calculate it. There you go. There's our blended rate of return for the two positions. And uh, now I can clear it. There's nothing there. Uh, if I close the software and reopen the software, you can see that our values come in automatically populated. So that's using a local SQLite 3 database. Uh, just to get those values in there. If you clear them, they're gone, but you can load them back in. Um, there's only one save template right now. Okay, so that's pretty much how that works, guys. Let me know if you're interested. I'm going to post the source code on my GitHub. This little program is not available yet, but if you're interested, I could make it available. I have to get it signed. But if you are truly interested in this, I like I said, I'm going to post the source code. You guys can go and view my source code. Uh, do whatever you want with it. It's using FLTK. And uh, that's it. So let me know what you guys think and let me know what you guys do when it comes to managing your currency balances and what currencies are you currently short or long right now. If you feel like sharing it, go ahead. All right. Cheers. See you in the next one.